Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maverick Moses. I'm a writing coach, avid reader, and author of the soon-to-be self-published YA dark urban fantasy novel Karma's Children Discovery, the first book of my Karma's Children trilogy series. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and help support my channel. I would really appreciate it. I post new videos twice a week, usually on Wednesdays and Fridays, but sometimes I mix up the days a little if my schedule is really crazy. So if you've already subscribed, make sure you also hit that little bell icon so you can be notified every time I post, no matter what day it is. Today I'm going to be talking about what a critique partner is, as well as I give you some tips on how you can be a good critique partner, how you can receive comments from critique partners, and stay tuned for the end where I'm going to tell you how you can find a critique partner. So what is a critique partner? Well, the writers that critique your work. When you have a critique marker, you're literally partners, which means that you share your manuscript with each other. After your critique partner receives your manuscript, they'll read through it and leave feedback on it. This feedback should be a combination of what's good and working well and what's not and needs some improvement on. You may be asking yourself, what's the difference between a critique partner and a beta reader? Well, the main thing there is the kind of feedback that you'll receive. A beta reader is just that their readers. They're there to share their opinions about the entertainment value and how a reader will potentially uh, understand and interpret your work. A critique partner is a writer, so the feedback that you'll receive from them is going to be more along the lines of character development, plotting, or setting the scene, and so on. Critique partners are basically a second pair of eyes for your manuscript. So what makes a good critique partner? Well, first up, since you're pretty much going into it together, you need to find a partner who, when you share your manuscripts, you both have mutual interest in each other's books. It wouldn't be fair to either party if your critique partner doesn't enjoy your concept and style of writing. Everyone has reading preferences, but if your critique partner doesn't like fantasy books and you're writing a fantasy, then you're probably not a good match. Y'all don't have to match exact genres, but you should be able to enjoy reading each other's works. It's also important that you find someone with a similar skill level and experience as you. You may be thinking that it would be awesome to get a critique partner who has way more experience than you, but while that may work out great for you, it won't work out so great for them and you're supposed to be partners in this thing. Other than that, here's a few other tips to keep in mind when you have a critique partner. Number one, don't be a douche. Writers deal with a ton of self-doubt every day, so if you're ripping to shreds your critique partner's manuscript and providing little to no positive feedback, then you're gonna make them feel like shit. Critique partners are there to critique the writing, but there still should be a balance between what's good and working well and what's not. One way to combat this, the compliment sandwich. Start off with some positive feedback about what's working well, then go into your main critique and how you think you should improve it, and then uh, finish it off with some encouraging kind of conclusion. It's not your job to build your critique partner's confidence, but it's also not your job to shatter it to pieces either. Number two, don't be a grammar Nazi. You can point out a grammar issue that you see them struggling with a lot, but you don't have to worry about correcting every punctuation error. You're not their editor. And furthermore, if you're encouraging them to rewrite a scene to improve it, then why are you wasting your time correcting every grammatical error on the page? Number three, comment your reactions. If a quote was funny, comment that it made you laugh. If a scene was really sad, comment that you shed a tear. And if you're, that really awesome plot twist was so shocking that you didn't see it coming, then comment your shock on that too. Doing this will not only make your partner feel good, but it will also help point out the scenes and quotes that worked really well and kind of give them an extra confidence boost knowing that they can write scenes like that and they have it in them. Number four, make suggestions. Yes, you're critiquing their writing and saying what's not working, but don't just end it there and say that it's not working and needs to be improved. Explain why it's not working and give some suggestions about how it can be improved. Now that you know what makes a good critique partner, now you need to know what, how to accept comments from your critique partner. A critique partner is there to critique your work. So yes, they're going to share what's good and working, but they're also going to share what's not and you just have to be prepared for that. If you have a good critique partner, they'll do this in a way that will encourage you to be better and make the changes necessary. 
But fair warning, you're probably going to hear some feedback that you may not want to hear, but you need to. Just like with beta readers, you don't have to make every change that they suggest. After all, it is your book, not theirs. But every writer is too close to their work in order to look at it in a fresh perspective. Just like how writers suggest that you get a professional editor because it's really easy to overlook mistakes when you've read through it a hundred times and have gotten used to the mistake, so too it's good to have a critique partner that will provide a fresh pair of eyes onto your manuscript and point out the iffy parts that you may have missed. Now you may be thinking, well, this is all well and good, but how do you even find a critique partner? Well, I have an answer for that too. You certainly can find a critique partner by connecting with other writers on social media or in real life, but I have an easier option for you. My writing team and I will be hosting a critique partner finding event on the Plotter Life Facebook group. We've already held a mini preview to this event by hosting a first line critiques and many of our members have expressed that this has helped them so much. And in one week, we'll be posting the official CP Finder event where you'll be able to connect with 200 other writers and find a perfect match for your critique partner. So I will leave a link down below in the description where you can join the Plotter Life Facebook group and get in on that action when we do it in a week for finding the perfect critique partner for you. Still have questions about critique partners? Well, my friend and Plotter Life team leader, Brittany Wang, will be hosting a live Q&A section on her channel tomorrow, September 20th at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Her Q&A will be all about critique partners and you'll be able to submit any questions that, that you have about them. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, to her channel where you can subscribe and make sure that you mark your calendars for tomorrow, September 20th at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time so you don't miss that live Q&A session. I am currently in the editing process of my debut novel, Karma's Children Discovery, but if you can't wait to start reading it, you can click the link in the description below and sign up for my email list and I'll send you the first three chapters of Karma's Children Discovery for free, so be sure to check that out. Today is the last day that you can enter my giveaway, so if you haven't already, make sure you go check out the giveaway announcement video as well as my giveaway announcement post on Instagram to learn more details about how you can enter. But basically, all you have to do to enter is follow me at Author Maverick M on Instagram and share the giveaway on your Instagram stories or feed using hashtag KC giveaway. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have or have uh, been a critique partner in the past and share your experiences. I would love to hear your answers. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for more on my TBR list, my work in progress, Karma's Children Discovery, and see some cool, aesthetically pleasing bookstagram photos. Then go friend me on Goodreads so we can connect on our mutual love of books. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!